70 million people are benefiting from illegal immigration. That is not a false statement. According to experts, that is exactly what is happening. Now, in today's video, I want to explain who these 70 million people are, where they're from, because what you may not realize is you may be one of those people. Now, I'm going to address this in today's video. I'm also going to explain what is going on, why Congress and the Biden administration are almost okay with this. But I'm going to break that down in today's video. So make sure you stick around, watch this entire thing. Again, all I ask is one thing. It takes two seconds. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So that is not a false statement. 70 million people here in the United States could be benefiting from illegal immigration. Now, why is that? And who is benefiting? Well, the reason why up to 70 million people are benefiting from illegal immigration is because according to reports, they are now saying that illegal immigration is boosting the labor market and it's helping the United States avoid a recession. So technically, it's not just 70 million people, it's about 320 plus million people that are benefiting because of this. That's crazy. Because when you look at it, if we are accounting for illegal immigration, the problem is more people are buying the same goods that you and I are buying, which means prices are going up. But there are many experts that say illegal immigration is helping this certain group of people. And those people are those on social security because right now what we are hearing is that social security's cost of living adjustment for 2025 is expected to be very low it was expected to be under one percent however due to the fact that we are seeing more illegal immigrants we are seeing more people working and keeping the the labor force really flowing and, and going strong what we are now hearing is that the 2025 Social Security cost of living adjustment, this increase, it's going to be smaller than the 2024 increase. However, it's going to be bigger what they were expecting. They say as inflation cools, the cost of living adjustment or COLA is expected to be less than 3%. That's what they're saying. Now I want to read you the exact number though, because according to the Senior Citizens League, which is a nonpartisan group, they're predicting that Social Security benefits will increase by 2.4% for 2025. That's based off their current projections. In 2020, it says right here, the new estimate is on par with the current projection from the Congressional Budget Office of 2.5% bump for 2025. The increase in 2024 was 3.2%. So the expectation is that the cost of living adjustment for about 70 million people is going to be 2.5%, a little bit more than what the Fed is wanting inflation to be at. However, here's the troubling part. If we were to get rid of all the people that have come into the United States illegally, experts say, then we would be in a recession. Just look at this. This is Jamie Dimon. He's the CEO of JP Morgan. It says JP, uh, Jamie Dimon warns US recession is not off the table yet. However, According to experts, they say if we are to deport millions and millions of people that have come into the United States illegally under a, a new president, for example, if former President Donald Trump were to win this upcoming election, well, if we deport millions of people, that is going to likely put more pressure on the United States, more pressure on the economy, and we would likely end up in a recession sometime in 2025. But again, right now, Everyone says illegal immigration is boosting the labor market and it's keeping us out of a recession. Now, there's some other things that we need to address. Okay, some of the things that we need to address are what is Congress planning to do? What is the Biden administration doing? And what do the American people want? Well, this is where things get very tricky because I was talking to somebody just the other day and they were saying that they are upset. They are furious that millions of people are taking their benefits. This person is on social security. And he was saying that he, he's, he's furious because, because President Biden and Congress are allowing people into the United States, border patrol is not doing a single thing, and they're not stopping people from entering into the US. Well, I reminded him, 
that I understand people are taking benefits because cities now have to go and put some money into shelter and, and provide food and all this other stuff. But at the same time, some of these people, they're going out and working. They're buying food. They're paying for a car. They're going and buying gas and all these other things, which is actually boosting uh, our economy. And so right there, and I, I told them, I said, just understand that if all these people weren't there, there's a good chance we would end up in a recession. We would see higher unemployment. That's what we'd see. Right now, it's not necessarily the case. But again, this is a double-edged sword here because you are losing some of your benefits by allowing people into the US. But at the same time, by allowing more people into the US, you will get more benefits to the tune of about 2.5% come 2025. So what do we do there? Well, we do know that there are some changes coming to Social Security. And I wanna address what some of these are because these are things that were proposed by President Biden based off his 2025 budget. This right here is an article from Newsweek. It says what SSA changes are coming. First off, and we wanna be very clear on this, there are no benefit cuts. If you are currently collecting Social Security, just understand your benefits would not be cut, all right? That's not something they're planning, nor neither Republicans nor Democrats wanna do this. That is just what is currently being said. They also wanna establish a leave program, okay? So right here, I just wanna read this part. It says as part of this, the money from the budget would be used to set up the program that would provide up to 12 weeks of leave to allow eligible workers to take time off to take care uh, or care for and bond with a new child, care for a seriously ill loved one, heal from their own serious illness, address circumstances arising from a loved one's military deployment, or find safety from domestic violence, sexual assault, or stalking, otherwise known as safe leave. So that's there, that they wanna establish that program. The next one is they wanna increase taxes on the wealthy. Right now, what we're hearing is that President Biden wants to pretty much tax uh, you know, wealthy individuals 25%. Right off the top, 25%. He also wants to increase the social security tax cap. That's on there as well and provide more money for Medicare. And then also improving services. That's listed as one of the, the big uh, changes as well. They wanna make it where you're reducing your waiting time, you're, uh, there's more offices open and things like that. So we'll see what happens there. One thing that I can tell you right now is that it's again, a double-edged sword. If we increase benefits right now, we increase benefits to the, you know, the 70 plus million people that are currently collecting social security. The issue is social security could become insolvent much sooner. But if we wait, if we wait and don't increase benefits so quickly, then social security could potentially uh, have money so that they don't become insolvent in the next 10 years. So right now, again, it's a double-edged sword. Do you want more money or do you wanna ensure that you're not gonna receive a 22 to 23% cut come 2034. So again, that's the double-edged sword in this situation. Now, I wish I could give you better news. I wish I could tell you that social security is gonna be saved. 70 plus million people are gonna be, you know, have no issues, but that's not the case, all right? So just wanna leave you guys with that at this time. That is what we know as of today. But again, as soon as I know more, I promise, I'll come back on and share all the latest news and updates, but that is what we know as of today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.